Great. First stage, what we do is remove the donor site on from the back of the head. And depending on the size of the transplant, it varies from um, removing somewhere between sort of three and five thousand or three and six thousand hairs. And there you can see the whole hair follicle and hair shaft coming up the blade. So you can see again there, every hair follicle. There's no hair follicle or hair shaft being affected there. A maximum length that you can take is, um, is about eight or nine inches. Then we stitch that uh, donor site up. The second stage would be um, uh, cutting out the donor site into individual hair follicular units. Now hairs will grow usually in two or three hair clumps and uh, the staff at the back will sort of cut those, um, those, that donor site up into those individual um, grafts which uh, again are usually uh, in two or three hair clumps the way that they grow in nature. The next step would be to um, create the recipient sites. Now what I do is usually with the patient and even with this patient's spouse if they so desire is that what I'll do is draw where I'm going to put the hairs on top of his, the, the patient's head and then freeze the top of the head then I make tiny incisions with a, a very small scalpel. It's funny it's fine for a bit and then you just start feeling it. <laughs> The last stage is planting, which is again the most time-consuming stage, and what they basically do, the staff will um, just place each one of these grafts into the holes that we've made. Now on somebody like this, they should be able to insert all of these grafts, up to a thousand grafts in about two hours. Now, um, the most important thing to me in terms of end result is to have the patient look natural and to make sure that nobody can identify what they've had done as a hair transplant. I think being bald is a natural state, but having a bad hair transplant is not a natural state. And if somebody, whenever they look at you and talk to you, is focusing on your hairline, then you're going to be self-conscious for the rest of your life. So we're just about finished up here, Tammy? Yeah, pretty much. How's it looking? Looks good. Nice and dry. Well, let's take a look here. And he's actually had very little bleeding, and the transplant has gone very smoothly. And I'm really happy with the way this looks. He should get great growth. All right, got a beer? Well, I, I believe that the photos, because I don't look at my head, and it's not obvious every day, so it's it's hard for me to, and it's a slower process. I believe it's harder to appreciate probably what they did, but I certainly feel better as a result of it. So I think that uh, I think that they also, when it comes to the filling in, they've done a good job there. It's still growing, so I think it's got more to grow in. But as far as what it looks like, I I think he, and he looks great. I just always thought he looked great with or without it. I can just say that when we split up and went our own ways and got our own places, uh, for me, uh, there was a void there. And uh, probably the only thing I can say is that you uh, don't know what you have till it's gone. I'm really happy with the way things are, and I'm really happy with Terry. I find the way I feel about Terry gets better and stronger every day. Uh, it was a tough thing to go through, but I think it was a positive in the end, so I'm glad for it and uh, look forward to, you know, many years together. <laughs>